Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back. What an exciting Fed day today. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about what the market did. And let's also talk about a few things that happened in our Discord room this morning. Now, um, what you're looking at here um, is uh, historical uh, gamma levels. If you don't know what a gamma level is, let me give you some idea about that right now. So a gamma level is basically show, shows you the exposure that market makers have from having either too many puts or too many calls. And you can see here, this is the gamma levels on the spider. And what we've done is we've transposed that to our charts where um, I can now see those levels, the call gamma, and the put gamma, and I can see it actually on my chart here. So looking at this morning, a couple of key things that I was looking at, let me just turn price off here. So this is what I saw this morning coming into the day with no price. Now, what I like to look at with these levels is how much is taken away or how much is added versus the historical view, which is why I have all these gamma levels with history here. And you can see here coming into today versus yesterday, this was pretty much the same. This was the same, a little bit more gamma up here, a little bit more gamma up here, a little bit more gamma here. This was pretty much the same, but this was the highest gamma level the day before. This is now the highest call gamma level now. And then we have more gamma here, more gamma here, and about the same and more here. Now on the put side, you can see we had a little more here, same, 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 same. A little bit more added down here. So if I sum up what today's net balance is, is that I would have to say that the market makers today had more exposure to call gamma. Now, there's two ways to look at that. If there is more call gamma exposure, the, uh, the chance of a squeeze is higher, right? So um, that's something that I wanted to keep in mind today when we were going into the Fed was that there was a very good chance that we could squeeze. And, you know, that's really important to know. So if we put some prices back on this chart, we can see that it's a little bit skewed here because of the time, but this morning we had a pretty nice little run up and we ran right into this 405 gamma. And this is where a lot of the guys in the room were shorting. Okay, we were looking at charts here, but this was just before the Fed. So we actually took a short here and then uh, ended up getting stopped out break even, I think. And, you know, we hit that, we hit that big element. If I stretch it like that, it'll look a little bit better. Now, um, I want to point out something, and I, I'm not doing this to brag. I'm doing this to show you that you should become a member of our free Discord room because I'm going to show you guys how to use this information in real time. And if we look at the Discord room, the first thing I want you to look at is notice the time here, um, 1240. So this was right before uh, Powell was going to speak. And what I was saying all day was basically this. My expectation on his words will be half bullish and half bearish for the market, like they all, like he always is. So Powell has been notorious for being a double talker. He'll say one thing is really good, then he'll say another thing is really bad. And I've seen this pattern with him over the last, you know, three or four years that he's been there. So the bullish, we're going to get some good news which is that inflation is considering is slowing and they'll consider pausing on their next hike. They didn't actually say that, but that's what I thought they might say. The bearish news is we will be committed to 2% inflation and more hawkish talk. Now, the problem is, is, is if I was expecting the market to spike in two directions, I don't really know which one is gonna be set first, right? So for that reason, um, we just had some lotto puts on this morning. So what I was saying, if you go up to a higher time frame, 
and you look for the higher liquidity levels, that's your thing. But the, the whole tone throughout the whole day was good news, bad news, good news, bad news. I was expecting the Fed to be to spike the market in one direction and have a complete reversal in the other direction. This was all called out in the room today, and that's exactly what happened, sort of. Um, so when we look at it, we see that when the actual data broke, meaning that they announced a 50 uh, rate, rate cut, but they were also going to more rate cuts in the future, you can see it, it just spiked down here. Now, we picked up this liquidity level, and that's when I shouted out to the guys, and I said, hey, listen, don't get bearish here, right? Don't get bearish here because, you know, I'm expecting Powell to double talk this market. And sure enough, we spiked straight back up, and that's exactly what happened. So good day. We ended up taking our profits at these lows here, and then, you know, I didn't ride the wave back up, and I'm not riding the wave back down. But I'm sharing this with you because I want to show you that the Discord room is completely free. I show you that every day I teach you not only how to use gamma levels, but I show you how to use order flow. I show you how to read the live flows. This is something else that we do a lot in the room. Look at the live tools. I, I like spot gamma. It's a little bit expensive. Spot gamma if you're listening. Come on, guys. 250 bucks. Another site that I've been using lately that I'm not too thrilled with is um, the Kate Trade Ticks tool. By the way, don't follow this thing. It's very misleading, very misleading. But, you, you know, just understanding all the different ways and how important, you know, the live options flow are in association with the existing um, gamma levels. And you have to put it together. It's sort of like a puzzle and you kind of have to you know, put the puzzle together a little bit piece by piece and figure it all out. And that's what we do every day in the trade room. So if you like this video, please remember to give me a thumbs up. What was the takeaway from this video is that with this gamma flow, with this lot, with this existing gamma pre-market, I was expecting a squeeze. We hit a key level and that's where we ended up reversing. Was it a perfect day? No, I didn't make a lot of money. I think I made like a thousand bucks today, nothing big. But please head on over to the Discord room. It's all free. I'll show you how to use all these tools in real time. And hopefully you will profit. Thank you all. Bye for now.